just days removed from retaining the World Heavyweight Championship at Vengeance, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre, is back in action later tonight in your main event, one-on-one -on -one against an old rival and the glorious Robert Roode. That's right here tonight on SmackDown. We are live from the Canadian Life Center, Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, and we are kicking things off with the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship on the line. The champions Bianca Blair and Shotzi throwing out the open challenge and Alea and Raquel Rodriguez accepting that challenge for an opportunity at the gold to kick us off. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, we are on the road to the biggest week in Universe Mode history coming up next month. It kicks off Monday night, June the 12th, live from Madison Square Garden for Monday Night Raw Homecoming. Just a few days later, Friday Night Smackdown's going Super Smackdown, live from our nation's capital of Washington, D.C. at the Capital One Arena. And then that following Sunday, we are heading to Philadelphia for the 2023 King of the Ring. Of course, the King of the Ring tournament kicks off this Monday night on Raw. We're going to take a look at the bracket later this evening, right here tonight in Winnipeg on SmackDown. It is going to be an awesome week coming up in the month of June, heading towards the King of the Ring, Raw Homecoming, Super SmackDown. Of course, the WWE Live event that's going to be taking place at Hammerstein Ballroom for channel members only in Manhattan, New York. And then, of course, Philadelphia Wells Fargo Center getting the treat, the 2023 King of the Ring, all coming your way next month, right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. We got to focus in on the action that is at hand tonight. Raquel Rodriguez teaming up with Alaya. She recently recruited Alaya to watch her back in her ever looming issue against Selena Vega and Carmella. And of course, with Alaya in her corner, Raquel was able to put those issues behind her, defeat Selena a few weeks ago here on SmackDown. And now that Bianca and Shotzi have thrown out this open challenge, well, this new duo of Raquel and Aaliyah looking to take full advantage and become the new champions here tonight. Of course, speaking of new champions in the women's division, what about what happened this past Sunday night on pay-per-view at Vengeance between the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, and your new WWE Women's Champion, Liv Morgan. An absolute show stealer of a match this past Sunday in Vancouver. The replay available right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel anytime. You're not going to want to miss that epic match of the year candidate where a new women's champion was crowned. And of course, one half of the women's tag team champions marching her way to the ring. Bianca Belair and Shotzi have held the gold since WrestleMania Saturday back in February when they defeated Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. Bianca have turned away the challenges of Casey Catanzaro and Caden Carter. They have been pretty unstoppable here on Friday Night SmackDown, retaining the gold against Nikita Lyons and Zoe Stark as well. And now these two looking for another challenge, an open challenge tonight for the championship gold. It's certainly an impressive yet new duo standing in their path tonight. We're continuing our Canadian tour right here on Friday Night SmackDown. Canadian Life Center, Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. The North has been special for WWE for weeks. And it is going to get an epic night of action right here tonight. Of course, coming up later, the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre back in action just days after his successful title defense against Braun Breaker at Vengeance. It's about to go one-on-one -on -one with the glorious Robert Roode. Cannot wait to get to your main event later tonight. Cannot wait to get to next month and the biggest week in Universe Mode history heading into King of the Ring. But as we mentioned, we got to focus in on the action kicking us off tonight. The prestigious WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. And you were looking at quite possibly the breakout star of 2022, and she has certainly had a great 2023 over the last five months. The ballsy badass Shotzi and the other half of your WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. Shotzi and Bianca Belair, former rivals, really came together through competitive warfare and mutual respect. And when Tegan Knox fell with an injury and Shotzi was in need of a partner at WrestleMania, the EST Bianca Belair stepped up and they have made a competitive, cohesive duo ever since. Certainly polar opposites. And as we mentioned, former rivals are Shotzi and Bianca Belair that they have put those differences aside over the last few months and they have been an amazing duo and a successful one at that as your WWE Women's Tag Team Champions of the World. And here we go, kicking things off tonight in Winnipeg. Shotzi and Bianca putting the gold on the line. Open challenge accepted by Aaliyah and Raquel Rodriguez. What a big tag team matchup to kick things off. High stakes, certainly high reward here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. 
That is the gold that is at stake. We are going to send things down to the ring right here in Winnipeg for your official championship match introductions. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers, Aaliyah and Raquel Rodriguez. And their opponents, they are the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Bianca Belair and Shotzi. Well, it's already been an epic week here in Canada with Vengeance this past Sunday in Vancouver, an epic Monday Night Raw, but the high stakes, high reward, big match situations roll into Winnipeg tonight with the Women's Tag Team Championships of the World on the line to kick things off on Friday Night SmackDown. Your challengers, Aaliyah and Raquel. Your champions, Bianca and Shotzi. The EST and Aaliyah set to kick things off as your legal competitors as your opening match on Friday Night SmackDown is underway. As we mentioned, still to come tonight, Robert Roode one-on-one -on -one with the glorious Robert Roode and so much, or excuse me, the World Heavyweight Champion, Drew McIntyre, and so much more still to come here tonight on SmackDown. We're going to take a look at the King of the Ring bracket yet again. Also take a look at what matches are going to be kicking things off for the SmackDown side of the bracket next week in Toronto on SmackDown. Nice moonsault by Bianca Belair. We're going to get the early victory over Aaliyah, but not just yet. Aaliyah and Raquel looking for gold tonight. This new tag team between the two, as we mentioned, coming together between Raquel's issues with Zelina and Carmella. They have yet to get a successful tag team victory, but tonight may do just that. And Aaliyah taking the fight to Bianca, obviously the least experienced competitor in this matchup, but certainly is bringing the fight to the EST of WWE right now. Just imagine if Aaliyah and Raquel capitalize on this open challenge opportunity to the fullest and are able to dethrone the EST Bianca Belair and the ballsy badass Shotzi and walk away of Winnipeg, the new women's tag team champions. What a shocker that would be here on SmackDown. Bianca back into the ring, Raquel in as well. Bianca going after quite possibly may be the only woman in WWE who is stronger than the EST of WWE and that is Raquel Rodriguez. Raquel's got a bright future ahead of her. Former NXT Women's Champion, former NXT Women's Tag Team Champion. The women she once stood side by side with in Dakota Kai down to the black and gold brand. A different day here on Friday Night SmackDown as Shotzi gets tagged in. Raquel taking out the ballsy badass over the top rope. Raquel is out to make a name for herself tonight on the blue brand, and she's looking to do that by any means necessary. I think Bianca might have been mouthing off to the challenger there, and Raquel making sure she wasn't getting away. Scott free, but there's Shotzi. Oh, beautiful bridge by the champion. Will that do it? Not just yet. As we mentioned a few moments ago, already have a new WWE Women's Champion. This past Sunday night is Liv Morgan dethroned the Empress of Tomorrow. Asuka, will we see new Women's Tag Team Champions here tonight as well? Certainly be a lot of fresh faces in the division of WWE. As Shotzi was going for those sentons there, Raquel able to crawl out of the way. And ultimately, Shotzi's maneuvers. And Raquel, a little bit of ring awareness benefits her there. Got a stronger competitor going for the fall away slam. Nice maneuver there by Raquel. And Shotzi with a much needed tag to Bianca. Not sure how much rest Bianca got, and she has met with a big boot. Raquel Rodriguez, as we already mentioned, but we'll say it again because it's certainly an underlining factor. Wait a minute. Bianca taking her off her feet, going for the pinfall, but not just yet. Raquel out to make some noise, out to make a name for herself on the blue brand tonight. Bianca going for a kick a look like there. Raquel at the counter. Oh, no, it's got Bianca in the electric chair position, and down goes the EST. And a tag made to Aaliyah. Raquel's been in the last few minutes. Get some fresh legs in there against Bianca Belair. And she is sent right over the top rope by Bianca. And as we mentioned, Aaliyah most likely the least experienced competitor in this matchup. It looks like Bianca and Shotzi, all fair in love and war, divide and conquer over the challengers. Aaliyah taking out Shotzi at ringside. Bianca taking out Raquel. Bianca and Aaliyah, your two legal competitors right now, but not the ones both inside the squared circle. We're only going to get a decision tonight by pinfall or submission inside the inside of the ropes here. And Aaliyah 
Now trying to capitalize on that rushing leg sweep to Bianca Belair. Oh, wait a minute. Falls it up with a submission hold here. Look at this maneuver. Could BST be on the verge of tapping out, but Shotzi making sure isn't going to happen just yet. As we mentioned, Shotzi and Bianca, they turned away Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell on the grandest stage of the mall, WrestleMania, defeating Casey Catanzaro and Caden Carter on the SmackDown after WrestleMania, and just recently retained the gold over Nikita Lyons and Zoe Stark. But will Raquel and Aaliyah be their kryptonite here tonight in Winnipeg? Oh, and Bianca with that hair whip right to the rib cage of Raquel. Shot heard around the world. That's going to take a lot more out of Raquel than you might think. I'll knock the wind out of you. A lot of power behind that shot. Nice counter by one half of the challengers here. Now, wait a minute. Raquel muscling up Bianca Belair. Oh, she could be going for a neck breaker. Oh, never mind. Turns it inside out. That's a whiplash. If I ever saw one, Shotzi able to break things up. But we were half a second away from new tag team champions. Aaliyah taking care of Shotzi. Wait a minute. Tahana bomb by Raquel. Into the cover. Bianca may be out. And we got new champions. Look at that. Aaliyah and Raquel Rodriguez accepting the open challenge tonight and capitalizing to the fullest. The Tahana bomb sends us right on the path of championship glory for Alaya and Raquel. Bianca and Shotzi getting knocked off tonight. They could not have been expecting this fight out of these two challengers, but they laid out the open challenge and these two women certainly making the most of it. We got new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions in Aaliyah and Raquel Rodriguez to kick things off here tonight on SmackDown. Ladies and gentlemen, this past Sunday at the Rogers Arena in Vancouver, all day Austin Theory took on the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes in their third meeting over the last couple of months. It was the 30-minute Iron Man match, and it certainly did not disappoint. Austin Theory kicked it off with the first pinfall of the matchup, but ultimately Cody Rhodes, with a couple of crossroads, aided him in victory, going up 2-1 to one over Austin Theory and concluding this storied rivalry over the last number of months. And earlier today, Cody Rhodes took to Twitter to have this to say, I've closed the first chapter of my WWE return on Sunday Night at Vengeance. Now it's time to write the next one. There is an undefeated champion who I would love to test myself against. Gunther, I believe I've earned my shot. I'll see you real soon for that United States gold. Cody Rhodes wants a shot at Imperium's ring general. The United States champion, the man who defeated AJ Styles this past Sunday to retain the gold, Gunther. Remains to be seen if Gunther is going to accept that challenge by the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, but you really can't argue with the facts. Cody Rhodes certainly after that performance, that amazing matchup, match of the year candidate this past Sunday, Cody Rhodes has certainly made the case to be the number one contender for the United States Heavyweight Championship. But speaking of the devil, the American Nightmare, no rest for the weary. He survived 30 minutes in that Iron Man matchup against Austin Theory this past Sunday, and he's back in action tonight in Winnipeg on SmackDown. The modern day Maharaja Jinder Mahal draws the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes as his in-ring opponent tonight, and Cody may be highly motivated to not take another loss at any soon time but Jinder Mahal might see opportunity with Cody Rhodes standing across the ring here tonight. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody! I say Cody Rhodes might be highly motivated to not take another loss anytime soon because you remember the only loss that Cody Rhodes has suffered since his WWE return 
was at WrestleMania the night of his return, and that led to this numerous month rivalry with All Day Austin Theory. Cody couldn't live with the fact that he came up short on the grandest stage of them all, fell to Austin Theory on that night. He felt he had the right of the wrong, and he did that at Backlash, and then finished the story at Vengeance. And with Cody Rhodes calling out the ring general, Guther, for the United States Championship, a loss is certainly not going to look good on the resume of a man who could be your next number one contender for the United States gold. All remains to be seen. Jinder Mahal certainly sees opportunity tonight. The modern day Maharaja fell to a world heavyweight champion, Drew McIntyre, recently here on SmackDown, not looking to fall to the American Nightmare here tonight. Could be a big bounce back win for Jinder and possibly a victory that could raise Jinder Mahal's stock. Former United States Champion, former WWE Champion is Mahal. A win over Cody Rhodes, the man who just called out Gunther on Twitter earlier today, could easily put Jinder Mahal in line for a future U.S. title opportunity. All remains to be seen, but right now the American Nightmare looking to build up, or I should say pick up off that momentum from this past Sunday. Keep it going here tonight as he is all over Jinder, but Mahal finds an escape. Sending Cody out of the ring, and Ginger's just going to take his time here. Jinder Mahal not in a rush. And you got to believe that even though Cody Rhodes is hot off the heels of that victory this past Sunday of Vengeance, there's no way Cody is 100% after that grueling, very physical 30-minute Iron Man match where multiple tables were crashed through by the bodies of Cody and Austin Theory. Blood was shed. Cody's going to keep swinging. He's going to keep being a fighter, but there is no way he is at 100% tonight heading into this match. And I would say if that is the case, then Jinder Mahal, even though he's coming off some recent losses, very well might be the favorite in this matchup. Cody Rose came out swinging, but he may have expended himself already as Mahal is stomping away on the American Nightmare in the corner. Jinder Mahal wants his opportunity. He wants his piece of the cake, and it starts tonight getting a victory over Cody Rhodes. Jinder Mahal now working on Cody Rhodes. It's going to be very interesting to see if Cody's got an answer for Jinder as we get into later rounds in this matchup. Of course, as we mentioned, the United States champion, Guther, hot off the heels of a great contest against the phenomenal AJ Styles this past Sunday night as well. Guther retaining that United States championship. Imperium's ring general continuing to be undefeated here on SmackDown. No blemishes on the record of your United States heavyweight champion, Guther. Cody Rhodes, on the other hand, only one loss since making his WWE return. I'm sure he would love to give Gunther his first loss and also take away the United States Championship. All remains to be seen what will happen in due time, but championship opportunities certainly come with wins and losses inside the squared circle. So if Cody wants to step up to Gunther and have a chance to become the United States Champion, well, he's going to get the job done tonight against Jinder Mahal. As we mentioned, all remains to be seen in due time. A lot of opportunities going to be swinging around on Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown over the next month. Of course, all the champions after Vengeance are going to be looking for their next challengers. The King of the Ring tournament kicking off this Monday Night on Raw. The SmackDown portion next Friday night. It's going to be an exciting couple of weeks here in the WWE as we head towards our biggest week in Universe Mode history. Kicks off Monday night, June the 12th with a live Monday night Raw from Madison Square Garden. Going to be a live premiere at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Raw homecoming. SmackDown going to follow that up. At the Capital One Arena, Washington, D.C. For Super SmackDown Live. And then just 48 hours later, Sunday night, June the 18th, Wells Fargo Center, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania for the King of the Ring. All three of those events going to be live premieres, 5 p.m. Eastern time individually for all of them as Cody Rhodes starting to make a, a comeback here. Nice brain buster there on Jinder Mahal. See if Cody's got anything left in the tank after Sunday and anything left after Jinder Mahal has been in control the last few minutes. And here comes Cody giving Jinder a little taste of his own medicine. Rhodes felt the boots a few minutes ago. And now the tides have shifted in this matchup. Cody Rose bringing the challenger to his feet. Overhand shot by Cody. Nice right hand and a forearm takes Mahal down again. Cody Rhodes keeping it simple tonight. That may be all Cody's really able to throw is those simple maneuvers. There's a DDT. Nice maneuver by the American Nightmare. 
Gonna do all he can to keep Jinder Mahal tonight. Gotta put your money where your mouth is. You're calling out the ring, General Guther. You gotta be able to get it done from bell to bell. Verna Breaker by Cody Rhodes. That maneuver has won him. Matches in the past, but not tonight as Mahal gets the shoulder off. Cody pulling out one of his best maneuvers against the modern day Maharaja. But Jinder Mahal continues to fight. But Cody Rhodes not going to give up until that bell sounds. We saw that this past Sunday. And Cody was at a disadvantage when Austin Theory scored the first fall in the 30 minute Iron Man match. Cody came back, got one. Tied it up after a crossroads. And then inevitably got another crossroads and another pinfall on Austin Theory to inevitably win the Iron Man match. Jim Mahal is looking for something there, but Cody Rhodes is able to get out of it. The Hall might have been thinking Coloss. Rhodes had it scouted. A nice headlock takeover by the American Nightmare. Cody looking good in this matchup. Even after that war this past Sunday night, Cody has still got something left in the tank. Disaster kick! And Mahal may be seeing stars right now after he just got that boot right to the face. Oh wait, here comes Cody! Crossroads! Jinder Mahal may be... Oh, wait a minute. Cody's not done. Cody's looking to make a statement tonight. Possibly sending a message to the United States Champion Guther. A second crossroads on Jinder Mahal. And that'll certainly do it here tonight in Winnipeg. Cody Rhodes called out one of the best there is inside of that squared circle. The United States Champion, the Ring General, Imperium's Guther, and Cody Rhodes backing up that challenge tonight. Putting his money where his mouth is and getting another victory here on Friday Night SmackDown. Here is your winner, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Well, the question is now, will Cody be the number one contender for the United States Championship? Will Guther accept the challenge? All remains to be seen, but you certainly can't argue with the results as Cody Rhodes has got a lot of momentum right now, scoring yet another victory against Jinder Mahal here tonight in Winnipeg. The action continues here on SmackDown as Shayna Baszler looks to keep her momentum going against Katana Chance. Plus, Drew Gulak one-on-one -on -one with the always exciting Wes Lee, who's been picking up some momentum for himself. And the results of those contests see the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, continuing her dominance over the women's division with yet another victory. And Wes Lee gets his hand raised tonight in Winnipeg against the submission specialist Drew Gulak right here tonight on SmackDown. A new cruiserweight champion in Santos Escobar was crowned this past Sunday in Vancouver. But right here tonight in Winnipeg, we're set for a little cruiserweight action here on SmackDown. And his opponent from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. It is the biggest week in Universe Mode history. It all kicks off on Monday night, June the 12th, and rides to Sunday night, June the 18th. Raw Homecoming, Super Smackdown, and King of the Ring, all live premieres at 5 p.m. Eastern time coming up next month. And of course, Saturday night, June the 17th, we're heading to Manhattan, New York, Hammerstein Ballroom for the channel member exclusive WWE Live event. It is the biggest week in Universe Mode history. It is all coming your way next month. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and join the channel down below so you don't miss a second of this exciting Universe Mode action. We are set for Cruiserweight Division action here tonight on SmackDown as the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough, is looking to bounce back after him and Drew Gulak came up short this past Saturday night. And our channel member exclusive WWE Live event as they challenge Mustafa Ali and Ricochet in an amazing tag team matchup for the WWE World Tag Team titles. The two former Cruiserweight champions coming up short against the one and only Ricochet in the heart and soul of SmackDown, Mustafa Ali, but certainly a match you're going to want to go out and see. You can do so by hitting the join button down below and gaining access to all past and future channel member exclusive live events. But nonetheless, J.D. McDonough one-on-one -on -one with another former Cruiserweight champion and Akira Tozawa right here tonight. And as we mentioned, a new champion in the division was crowned this past Sunday as Legado del Fantasma Santos Escobar after months of climbing the ladder yet again. And that WrestleMania rematch went one-on-one -on -one with Rey Mysterio and was able to knock off the greatest mask of all time. 
Santos Escobar becoming a three-time Cruiserweight Champion this past Sunday at Vengeance. With a new champion at the top of the division, every man in the Cruiserweight division going to be looking to climb the rankings just as Santos Escobar did and earn themselves a championship opportunity in the near future. Could be Akira Tozawa, could be J.D. McDonough, but here comes Tozawa with a suicide dive. And Akira Tozawa getting this crowd behind him in Winnipeg. As we mentioned, a former Cruiserweight champion, as is J.D. McDonough. These two men got all the tools to be successes here on Friday Night SmackDown. And with Santos Escobar now sitting comfortably atop the Cruiserweight throne, any and all challengers I'm sure will be, built, sure will be welcomed, excuse me. It's an awesome matchup that kicked off Vengeance this past Sunday night. The replay available now in that WrestleMania rematch between the former champion Rey Mysterio, who had held the gold since January the 1st at the Royal Rumble, finally coming to a screeching halt this past Sunday as Santos Escobar found the right formula to keep down the Hall of Famer and Rey Mysterio. J.D. McDonough trying to find the formula to keep down Akira Tozawa tonight. The Irish Ace, a dangerous competitor inside of that ring. He is almost cold and calculated and beats down his opponents as you're seeing right here. Akira Tozawa almost a, just a firecracker inside of that ring. Certainly has, I'd say, the speed advantage out of these two with the man who once trained under the Prince Finn Balor, the Irish ace Jordan Devlin, looking to make some noise tonight on SmackDown. Nice headbutt right there. Wait, he's not done. Look at that! Pulls him in for the Saito. And the Irish ace pulling out the ace. And the victory. Well, Akira Tozawa came out swinging. Suicide diving all to the outside. But a beautiful combination there out of J.D. McDonough. And McDonough picks up the victory here tonight. Here is your winner, J.D. McDonough. Well, one thing's for sure, and that's Legado del Fantasma Santos Escobar, your new Cruiserweight Champion, certainly has a whole division of formidable competitors waiting to step up to the champion. Will J.D. McDonough be in line for a future Cruiserweight Championship opportunity? But a big win tonight for the Irish Ace on SmackDown. Do you want access to a bonus Universe Mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus Universe Mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a Premium Pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. It is coming up Sunday night, June the 18th. We are heading to the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia for the 2023 King of the Ring. And it kicks off this coming Monday night on Raw. Eight men from Raw, eight men from SmackDown, a 16 participant bracket for the King of the Ring trophy. And not only is the reigns of the King on the line, but whoever wins this tournament is heading straight for August and SummerSlam for a future World Championship opportunity. And the SmackDown portion of the King of the Ring kicks off next Friday night as All Day Austin Theory is in action against one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Mustafa Ali. And the other half of the Tag Team Champions, the one and only Ricochet, well, he's going to be in action, but he doesn't know his opponent. Who's stepping up to fight Ricochet in the opening round of the King of the Ring? Also coming your way next Friday night on SmackDown, big time six man tag team match has been assigned. United States Champion Gunther, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser, Imperium, set to take on the phenomenal AJ Styles. And AJ Styles is in need of some tag team partners. It was gonna be standing by Styles' side just next week on SmackDown. It's already shaping up to be an amazing night next week in Toronto. But as for tonight in Winnipeg, it is main event time and the world heavyweight champion the face of friday night is back in action drew mcintyre sought out what he wanted to do this past sunday night and that's teach braun breaker a lesson in respect that he wouldn't soon forget McIntyre leaving Vancouver, the World Heavyweight Champion, and now another challenge at hand for the Scottish Warrior of Friday Night SmackDown. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. 
making his way to the ring from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre has been on top of the world. Ever since he won that Elimination Chamber match back in January, there has not been a person that has been able to step up and step aside against Drew McIntyre. McIntyre has turned away any and all challengers. He has no longer been a stepping stone for anybody's career. He is making everybody become a stepping stone for the Scottish Warrior. McIntyre won that world title by defeating Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. He retained it at Backlash against the man who is now a part of Monday Night Raw, John Cena. And of course, as we mentioned this past Sunday, in a very physical heavyweight battle against the former two-time NXT champion and Braun Breaker. But now tonight, Drew McIntyre is set to go one-on-one -on -one with an old rival from NXT, the glorious Robert Roode. And the World Heavyweight Championship may not be on the line tonight, but you know the Glorious One is certainly hoping for a victory and certainly hoping to put his name at the top of the list of future contenders for the World Heavyweight Championship. This is going to be one hell of a main event between Robert Roode and Drew McIntyre. Robert Roode and Drew McIntyre, no strangers to each other. These two men once headlined an NXT TakeOver for the NXT Championship, and Drew McIntyre was victorious all those years ago. McIntyre and Roode have had battles over the years, but tonight they run it back. And as we mentioned, a matchup that could be very pivotal for Robert Roode in establishing himself as a future championship contender for the world title. All remains to be seen, as we talked about with Cody Rhodes earlier tonight, wins and losses are going to earn you championship opportunities around these parts. Robert Roode wants to hang in with Drew McIntyre and get a shot at the big gold. He's got to get the job done when the title isn't on the line. Here tonight in Winnipeg, in this high-profile, possibly high-stakes main event here on SmackDown. Great night of action so far to own the blue brand, and it's been a hell of a week. We want to thank you for joining us right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. If you were there in the live premiere for Vengeance this past Sunday, we want to say thank you. If you weren't, no worries. The replay is available right here, right now, in the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Quite possibly, in my personal opinion, our best live premiere event to date was Vengeance this past Sunday. As we mentioned, the replay available right now. Also, Monday Night Raw this past week as well. The franchise John Cena, who was formerly a part of right here on SmackDown. Somehow, we still don't know how. We don't know if he was traded or if there was a contract that expired. But John Cena, the franchise, returning for the first time since Backlash. It is now a part of Monday Night Raw. Nonetheless, we have witnessed a great SmackDown tonight. Two women's tag team champions, new champions, I should say, crowned to kick us off, Elia and Raquel Rodriguez. Accepting that open challenge by Bianca and Shotzi and certainly making the most of it, leaving Winnipeg, Manitoba, championship gold intact. Cody Rose looking to earn himself an opportunity at Gunther in the United States Championship. Went over Jinder Mahal earlier tonight. What about the matches that we got signed for next week in Toronto on SmackDown? Wait a minute here, Robert Roode looking to tap out the world champion with this cross face. Nice submission hold, able to take down the bigger, stronger competitor, but there's McIntyre using his strength to get out of it. Next week on SmackDown, we will be heading to Toronto, Ontario. The SmackDown side of the bracket and the King of the Ring tournament kicks off. The one and only Ricochet. Unknowing who his opponent's gonna be, we will find out next week on SmackDown that of course the other half of the tag team champions, Mustafa Ali, is to go one-on-one -on -one with all day Austin Theory. What about that massive main event sign for next week, Imperium. Set to take on AJ Styles and two partners of his choosing. We know AJ Styles has had Wes Lee watching his back and vice versa over the last couple of weeks. You gotta imagine Wes Lee is gonna be intact with AJ come next week, but who's gonna be the other competitor? Massive six-man tag team matchup sign. Cannot wait to get to Toronto next week. But right here tonight, Winnipeg is getting a treat between McIntyre and Robert Roode. Nice spine buster by the world champion. Not enough to keep Robert Roode down just yet. 
As we mentioned, this could be a very pivotal matchup and Rude earning a future opportunity for McIntyre's World Heavyweight title with Drew McIntyre. Although I'm sure he wouldn't turn away the challenge of Rude challenging for the gold, is not looking to take a pinfall, submission, or loss by any means here tonight. As we mentioned earlier, McIntyre has been unstoppable. Ever since he won that Elimination Chamber match back in January, it has been a polar opposite, a completely different Drew McIntyre than we saw in 2022. And it was well documented last year how McIntyre is really coming up short in a lot of the big match situations. Well, the Scottish Warrior has certainly turned it around this year and has become the face of SmackDown all over again as the World Heavyweight Champion. Quite frankly, nobody deserves it more. McIntyre looking good, but there's a counter out by Rude. Speaking of opportunities being wasted, if you will, slipping through the fingers. Remember one of the last times we saw Robert Rude was in that number one contenders match against AJ Styles for the United States title, which Rude came up short. Of course, that was a matchup that led AJ Styles to fight Gunther this past Sunday at Vengeance. Rude off the drop kick takes down McIntyre. Robert Rude also went one-on-one -on -one with, wait a minute, Spine Buster by Rude. That's a signature into the arsenal of the glorious one. Will that do it? Not just yet. Drew McIntyre survives another moment. Robert Rude looking good right now. Kip up by McIntyre. A Rude isn't done. McIntyre kips up but falls right into the glorious DDT. And I think that's going to do it. Not just yet. Once again as the world champion survives. We've seen McIntyre fight through wars over the last couple of months. It is going to go to hell and high water to keep Drew McIntyre down. Now McIntyre trying to go to the outside. Rude was going after him, but the world champion having none of it. As we were about to mention, Robert Rude went one-on-one -on -one with John Cena back in February at WrestleMania. He came up short on that night as well. Rude has found himself in big match situations over the last couple of months and unfortunately has come up short. Tonight is another opportunity with Drew McIntyre not looking to lay down for just anybody. Sit out, powerbomb doesn't do it. McIntyre survived some of the best bullets that Robert Rude has shot at him, but... Drew McIntyre continues to keep fighting in this match, and what a headbutt to Rude! We saw the spine buster, we saw the glorious DDT, but the world champion as tough as they come. There's a reason he is the holder of the big gold belt, there's a reason we call him the face of Friday Night SmackDown. As he's got Rude in a precarious spot on the top rope right now. And McIntyre, look at the strength out of your world champion, muscling up the glorious Robert Rude and sending him halfway across the ring with a massive superplex. Winnipeg, Manitoba, appreciating the efforts out of your world champion and his competitor here tonight. As we mentioned earlier, these two men know each other well. They have had battles in the past and they are picking up right where they always left off. McIntyre and Robert Rude going to war here on SmackDown. There's a reason we call ourselves the best universe mode you're going to find around. You ain't going to see this action in any other universe. No better matches, no better stories. It's all right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel as Drew McIntyre continues to pummel the glorious Robert Rude. Whipping off Rude. Oh, wait a minute. Counter by Rude. The glorious one be nearing a comeback here, trying to get back into this matchup. I don't think that's the best idea to take your eye off the World Heavyweight Champion because McIntyre is up and the Scottish Warrior wants victory tonight. Robert Roode eating the canvas. And it looks like the glorious one turned his back on the champion. Maybe what cost him here tonight. Claymore! What a kick! Nobody does it better. That'll do it. Robert Roode took his eye off the ball and the World Heavyweight Champion capitalized. There's a reason McIntyre continues to dominate. He has been the best of the best here on Friday Night SmackDown for months. And that Claymore kick is one of the reasons why. Here is your winner, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre continues to turn away any and all challengers whether the championship is on the line or not. And with King of the Ring approaching next month, 
You got to wonder who is going to be next to step up. Wait a minute. Oh, my goodness. The rated R superstar. Edge is on SmackDown. And he is staring down your world heavyweight champion. We saw John Cena on Raw. We speculated that maybe he was traded. Is this the case? Because that is a Monday Night Raw superstar on the blue brand. Edge, a former world champion, looking at Drew McIntyre and could be calling his shot to fight the Scottish Warrior for the big gold belt. A very interesting story. Concluding us here tonight in Winnipeg, what is going to happen next week when we head to Edge's hometown of Toronto on Friday Night Smackdown? Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rapper.